I made it. I was trying to clean up my area and then I got distracted into doing things. And so this is somewhat clean. It uh, out here, not so clean. That, that's all right. I'm going to just make sure that I, um, let's see, I need to make sure my sound on my computer is off. which it is. Then I need to click in to make sure that uh, I can see everybody and see what you're seeing. So you're seeing my empty desk, that's great. That's sort of what uh, you should be seeing. Um, I just realized I put some things away that I don't wanna put away, namely this paper. Now this paper, in case you're wondering, uh, this paper is retired. It was part of that huge, uh, let me see if I've got it handy, that huge paper pack at celebration time. I actually had two of them. I am hosting a Tune In Tuesday class. So remember all this yummy paper? Um, that's what we're using tonight. I'm hosting a Tune In Tuesday class on, yep, that's right, Tuesday that uses this paper as well, because I'm going to be showing you some Easter projects. And these colors are just too too great to pass up. Now, as, um, as always, here's an example of what I'm going to be making. So here is a cracker and treat box made with a cracker and treat dies. That's what we're gonna be using tonight, but we're going to be using it in a unique way. So these dies are fantastic. Not only does it make a great little treat box, See, isn't this really cute? It holds five, six if you really push it, Hershey Kisses. Um, it was really awful that I had to go out and buy lots of candy to see what would go in here nicely. I bought Hershey Kisses. I bought Sweet Tart Jelly Beans. I bought Smarties. Uh, let's see, I bought something else. Oh yeah, I bought... Um, I bought M&M's. Oh yeah, I've tried lots of things. They all work and they're all yummy. Um, so anyway, this one is just, uh, this would make a great little place setting. You know, just put a little name here or um, just if you were, um, you know, you could write lots of different things on here. If you were using uh, baby favors, you could use it as a way to, um, you know, you know, baby Rogers. This Rogers is not having a baby, um, but you could write lots of things anyways. Um, so let's see, um, where was I? But we're gonna use it a little bit differently tonight, but even if you didn't use it to create this little box, look at the great little things that you have in here. So you've got one, two, three, four, five little labely type things or um, you could use them as windows just you know peeking through something you've got these two little tag labels you've got this set of stars and these sets of hearts so this will die cut three hearts this will die cut three stars and so you can either use the positive the hearts and the stars or you could use the negatives as well so this really is a great little die and you're going to you're gonna really fall in love with it. If not tonight, which I hope you do, um, you'll fall in love with it on Tuesday. And as with my Tuesday classes, the classes are free to watch online, but if you would like the class kit, then I will, um, uh, I will send you a class kit if you place an order of $35 or more in my online store. And there will be something extra if your order is $50 or more. But anyways, let's get started. So I've got this piece of Granny Apple Green Designer Series paper. This is cut five inches by six inches. So you can get four out of one 12 by 12 sheet and you're still gonna have a little bit left over. Um, by the way, Sheila has chimed in in the chat and said hello. I hope the rest of you will sign in and do so as well. I love to know who's watching. And the interaction really does help my channel to get a little bit more traction. 
So I would appreciate that as well. Now I need my die cutting stuff. So let's see, we are gonna take my number one plate and my number two plate, my number three plate. And this was almost brand new when I started cutting. I have cut out a lot of these boxes and I've got a lot more to cut out because I'm going to start prepping in advance for sending out card kits. Because I think it's something like 10, 10 of these that I have to cut out, maybe even 11 for my Tune In Tuesday class. For each person that orders a class kit, you get quite a few of these. So I need to start early. So I've put this in here on a slight angle because this edge is a hard edge and I don't want it to go through all at the same time. So if I have it on an angle, it will go through a little bit at a time and not make that awful sound that it makes when you send the hard edge through. You heard a little pop at the end, but you didn't hear anything at the beginning and not really much at the end. So this is what we have, very little waste here. You'll notice that there are several little diamonds and you can use those to decorate projects. In fact, in my Tune In Tuesday class, I show you some options doing that. That's part of the reason why my desk is such a mess right now because I have diamonds everywhere. I have blue ones and green ones and mango ones and purple ones. I have lots. They're everywhere. They're taking over. I told Peter, we went out to eat right before this and I told Peter, I gotta get home. I gotta clean up my desk. It is a mess. But this area is clean enough, so that's good. All right, so here's what you get. Now, I could cut some things off. I'm, I'm making kind of a unique card front. So let me show you that. We are going to, it's very hard for you to see this on camera. You'll just have to trust me. There are some score lines at the base of these diamonds. I'm going to just sort of fold along them gently. Um, and then go ahead and Use my bone folder to finish it off. And then I'm gonna fold backwards uh, in the middle of those diamonds. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. So this pattern does make it difficult to see the score line. I can see it barely, but if you just think it is at the bottom of these diamonds, that helps you a lot. But the paper really does want to fold nicely where those score lines are. And then I'm going to fold back again. Whoops, I missed the center of the diamond there. All right, there we go. So we have something that looks like this. Now normally what I would be doing is I'd be folding on all these horizontal score lines here, but I'm not gonna do that right now. I'm going to make a card out of this. So I don't want it to be a treat box. I'm gonna bring in a card base and that is not it. I have to, I have to fix that card base that's in, my, in with my thick basic white. I think it's a card base every single time and it's not because it's got a score line where it does not belong. I'm gonna just gonna go ahead and cut another base. I know I've got one around here somewhere, but I'm just going to bring in my cutter and do it right here. All right, so here's my base. What I'm gonna do, if I, if I squeeze these folds shut, then we have this cute little layer for the front. And it does pop up a bit, but it 
also goes down to male flat. So let's go ahead and adhere that down. Oh, I hear, I hear my computer. My computer's supposed to be off. There we go, now it's off. It's very subtle, but I heard it. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue on here. And what I like now, obviously I could just put some score lines in some cardstock and call it a day. But what I like about this little piece is it has these cute little ruffly scalloped edges. All right, now, really, is Sheila the only one out there? I don't believe it. The rest of you need to say hi. I bet you my sister's on, maybe even Elaine, and they're just not signed in, so they can't say hello. So we're gonna put this in here and center it. I'm just gonna adhere it down. So I only put the adhesive on these little, edges in here. So the middle, you can see, pops up. Now, if you wanted to wrap a ribbon around this, you could. Now, I'm not going to leave it like this, but I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. So I could thread, and it is easier to do this if you do it before you attach it, obviously. But I just thought I'd show you. So you can thread that through those holes and then you could go ahead and tie a ribbon here. We're not gonna do that. I just wanted to tease you with that. So there we have that. Now we need to add some more decoration. I'm gonna bring in my Sending Smiles stamp set. This is actually a bundle. Sending Smiles, and we've got the dies, and I, I've already got tape on some of the ones that I'm gonna be using. So we'll get those out. I've got my stamps all mounted too. Uh, yeah, I don't need these stamps. I'm using other ones. So what you'll need for this project is you'll need some scrap paper. Uh, let's go ahead and just bring in this one. I am going to bring in a couple of different colors. I'm, I'm using Granny Apple Green. Rich Razzleberry, which if I had to guess, remember, I don't know at all, I would guess that this one is going to retire. Just a feeling. And then there's Fresh Freesia, which is an in color that is retiring this year as well. But this one has a chance of coming back. It could make it into our regular core of colors. So we are having a color refresh this year which means that Stampin' Up! is evaluating all of our regular 40 colors and seeing which ones don't really match up with the times anymore. Um, if I had to guess, Pacific Point is going to be on its way out. I don't know that. For, remember, this is all speculation. I'm hoping Petal Pink is on its way out. I like it if it were Petal Peach, but it's not. It's Petal Pink and it's not a pink. Uh, so I'm hoping we get a real light pink that's good for babies. Uh, I'm kind of feeling the same way about Blush Blossom. Blossom, I hope that one goes too. Um, Rich Razzleberry is a color I like. I don't use it nearly enough. Uh, it just depends on my mood. But um, I like it, but I, I don't know. It could be on the chopping block. Anyway, let's go ahead and do some stamping. So I'm going to take my Granny Apple Green. And I'm going to stamp this leafy image that's got two stems on it. And then I'm going to bring in my Fresh Freesia. I'm gonna take the Full Daisy and stamp that. I'm going to take the Half Daisy, which also really looks like it could be a cone flower. And I don't know if I can have these both both on at the same time, but I'm going to I'm gonna break some rules as far as the flora goes. And let's see, what else do I want to do? Okay, I want to bring in my Rich Razzleberry. And in this set, let me show you on the cover, there's this little thing that's the center of this daisy. 
And then this, which is the center that goes with this cone flower piece right here. So I'm gonna take my darker color and let's see, we're gonna put that right, right in there. Oop, I got it a little bit off center, that's all right. I'll deal with it. And then we've got this other one that's going to go right in the center here. Aren't those two colors really pretty together? Mm, love them. I'm gonna keep my Rich Razzleberry ink pad open and I'm going to find my scrap of Fresh Freesia. Take my sending stamp that goes with the sending smiles. And we're gonna stamp that right there. Ooh, that looks so pretty. I did another, I did several other stampings. I put, um, and I can't find them all now. I can find this one. I did a green apple green on white, but I didn't like that quite as much. I wanted a little bit more contrast. So then I tried fresh freesia and then I thought, oh, how about rich raspberry on fresh freesia? And I really like that. So now we're gonna go ahead in and put in my my dye right here, line it up. I'll put a little bit of washi tape on it. I'm gonna run everything through at once if I can. So let's go ahead and bring in my other piece here. That looks pretty good. And then we're gonna bring in, all right, so now there's six of you watching. Uh, if you could go ahead and how about, how about give me some love, show me some hearts there. That'd be nice. I'm gonna make my Friday. It's a much longer day at work than I anticipated. I anticipated only going in for half a day and I was there the whole day. Easter's coming, you know. If you know anybody that works at a church, they're busy right now. All right. Let's bring in my die cutting machine again. All right. And let's bring in my plates. Now, I don't know if I can get these all in in one pass or not because this one's pretty pretty wide, so I can't put it next to it. Uh, let's see, I think I might be able to, I might be able to, you know what? I'm gonna cut this off right here. I'm gonna cut this off and just lay it like this instead. There we go. Now that fits nicely. We need the other plate. Jeffrey, are you watching tonight? Usually you say hello in the chat. I haven't seen you yet. Oh, wait a second. This is showing top chat. I wonder if it's different live chat. Hmm? Not different, just Sheila there still. All right. Let's see what we got here now. Now these cracker dies I'm gonna be doing Easter treats, but these cracker dies really are great for lots of things. So a lot of times you'll see crackers at Christmas, you know, Christmas crackers, um, but 4th of July, you can have things very festive looking. Of course, Halloween, lots of different, different options here. Uh, I'm gonna put my dies back before I lose them. <laughs> which I could lose a lot of things on this desk right now. You know what, we'll just, we'll clean up afterwards. I'll have to clean up afterwards in order to do everything. So let's see, let's bring in our parts and pieces here and see how everything looks. 
So if I were to put this on here, let's just see how we're gonna, how it's gonna all look. Ah, stuck to my hand. And then we have sending right down here. I'll probably move this flower a little bit down. So let's go ahead. I know what I'm doing now. So if you noticed um, when you were logging into this event, there was just um, this kind of card front and then a bunch of flowers. I haven't made the finished product yet for this card. As I mentioned, my husband and I went out to dinner little excitement at dinner a lady uh, in the booth next to us just all of a sudden kind of she didn't go limp but her she kind of froze um, they had to call an ambulance but she came to and she was fine it's it was the weirdest thing I don't know if it was an absence seizure or, or what it was it was just it was kind of freaky uh, but she's okay, which is good. All right, now I need to find my my dimensionals. So when I cleaned up for this class, of course I put things away. You know what happens when you put things away. You can't find them again, so we'll just get a new package out. How about that? All right, new package of dimensionals there. So I'm going to put one here, and I'm going to put one, I think maybe I'll put two over here, just so it's pretty steady. Let's see, go right there, kind of pops it off a little bit. I love these colors together. Oh, look at, spring is here. I know we might be getting snow, but spring is here. And then we've got this sending that I can also pop up. Now I don't want to adhere it down out here at the edges because I do want this middle to pop up a little bit. So when I'm putting my dimensionals on, I'm gonna stay inside a little bit more. And you know what, I need smaller dimensionals, which I'm not gonna find those either. So what I will do is Cut my dimensional in half. There's one. Put one right here. And I could use the edges of my dimensionals also, but I'm just going to go ahead and finish with this. And I think I got room for a little bit more here, right here. The top of the D. All right, did I remove all the backings? No, I did not. So now we've got the word sending right there. Now I have the option of bringing a word in from my sending. So I can either do, I could do any of these things. Um, and I could put it on the front or I could put it on the inside. I think, I think I might put it on the inside. So let's go ahead and do sending birthday wishes because you know what, I always need a birthday card. So birthday wishes is right here. You have to free up a block. I'm going to use the dark, the dark one here. That is mounted crooked. Remember the way to mount so that's straight. Let's see. Let me go ahead. Let me put this face down. It's already inked, so I have to face down, and then I'm going to apply it. That way it's straight. It's not curved. I haven't manipulated it any weird way to get it on the stamp. So there we go. And then I can stamp some more or 
what I can do is go across the room and get some of the flowers that I had stamped and cut out before. And then we can apply them right on the inside of the card. Just want to remind those of you um, who may have not seen it in the email or seen me talk about it yet, that my, I probably should have put it on the other side, but I can write over here, um, that my Stampless Stamp Camp is coming up April 15th. We'll be using the Enjoy the Adventure products from near the end of the mini catalog. And um, at Stamp Camp, we're going to make 10 projects, nine cards, and one other project. Registration is open and will close on April 1st. So you have a, a week and a day left to register for that. You will get a half a package. Let me show you what you'll get. You will get, oh, by the way, let me just finish up. So there's our card. You can add some bling if you want to add some shiny stuff. Let's go ahead and do that because shiny stuff is fun. Hmm, what kind of shiny stuff do I want? I don't know. Oh, how about my dragonfly? I just recently discovered the dragonflies. I kind of like them. They're nice and shiny. So I could put that there. I could put that right up here. Hmm. I think I kind of like it right there. Let's go ahead and put that one on. So we will need a glue dot for that. Mm -hmm. The Big Bang Theory is over, which means it is eight o'clock. We're almost done. Come on, stick to it. There we go. I don't know how to arrange him. Let's call them good right there. And so there is our card. Oh, I just love the colors in this card. Love, 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 love them. I need to get my rich razzleberry out more. So let me go ahead and talk about, well, let's clean up this mess a little bit. You can see all my little diamonds. Let's get my card out here. That's okay to have cards and inks out in, in view. Get rid of some of this other stuff. Here, we'll tempt you with a piece of, with a Hershey's Kiss. So on page 73, you'll find the Enjoy the Adventure Memories and More card pack and the Memories and More cards and envelopes that go along with it. And so each participant in that stamp camp will get a half a package of this and a half a package of that. You'll be able to make 10 projects and you'll still have um, some of these die cuts and card layers left over. You won't have any of this left over though. And let's see, you will also get from the front-ish of the catalog, you will get a half a package of these pastel adhesive backed sequins that come in gold, petal pink, and balmy blue, which are colors in the Adventures and More pack. And then you will get a half a roll of the balmy blue and white variegated ribbon. This stuff is super thin, super soft, and super awesome. Uh, ties great bows. It's it's so thin. It's it's almost cloud like. It's really it's really nice. Um, so you'll get a half a package of each of those four things. And of course, then I will supply you with all the other things that you will need um, to create the rest of the projects. So um, we'll be using, um, we won't be using it in the class. I'll have them pre-done for you, but I'll be using things like dies, die cuts from the Give It A Whirl dies. These things, they may retire too, I'm not sure. But even if you don't do the Give It A Whirl, the spinny cards, 
This has three great hearts in it. It's got a nice scalloped circle, a nice uh, stitch circle. Oop, it's got four hearts. Um, it's got a rectangular label that you can use and one another one of these. So it's a great set, even if you don't use it for its intended purpose. Those are the best kind of die sets, I think. So anyway, that's what I have for you tonight. Watch your emails on Sunday. Um, I do have a host code that is current and any orders placed now through next Sunday. So Sunday, April 2nd. Um, will qualify for the Tune In Tuesday class that I have coming up. So you'll be able to get like the supplies to make two of these and one of these and one of these and then a couple of cards that I'm not going to show you. Um, so um, if you are interested, use that host code to place an order and I will ship that out to you. Uh, long around April 4th. So you'll have it in time for Easter. You'll just have to put the things together and it doesn't take long because I'm doing the hard part. I'm die cutting for you. So anyway, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed this card. If you have, give me a thumbs up and share it with your friends. I will see you next week. Have a great weekend, everybody.